hope you're fine. My name is Mathematics. Um, the other time, we were talking about addition. We learned how to add two digit numbers, how to add three digit numbers. I hope you can do that. Um, in the last um, uh, episode, we were adding numbers with regrouping. We said when you, for instance, you, um, you've added numbers in ones and your answer is a two digit number, we said you baptize that two digit number and you'll be able to know in which place value this answer, each digit on this answer falls and then you place it there. We'll do one example so that we can continue from there. We said number like 28, we are adding, we are adding, we are adding 17 to it. And we've been talking about doing our addition side, uh, from side work. And we are starting with the ones, eight plus seven. We have different ways of getting the answer. You can either add using anything around you, balls, sticks, stones, whatever. Or you can put the big number in the head and the small number on your fingers. In this case, I'm having eight in my head and seven in my fingers, try to do that. Try to do that. Put eight in your head and seven. Let me get seven fingers. One, six, seven. These are seven fingers. Uh huh. So you're having eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So our answer here is 15. Remember, we agreed two digit number. We can't put all these two digits here. Because these are two digits, and the numbers in ones, their maximum, their, their, their maximum uh, number is supposed to be only one digit, because it is in ones. So we bring our 15 down here, simply because 8 plus 7 is 15, but we said we are going to baptize these numbers. We are baptizing this. So and this one will get, will get a baptism name, which is ones, and this one, tens. So, plus our answer into its proper place value. So, we have 15 and we said 5 is under 1's. So, we are going to write 5 and we are carrying this other digit to its proper place value. And we said 1 is going to be carried to 10's. So, the next addition will be 1, yes. I'm insisting we should start with the number you've carried because some of us tend to forget it. So we'll say one plus two plus one. So you start with it, one plus two. What is one plus two? Who doesn't know that? One plus two, of course, one plus two is three, and then three plus one, that's four. Uh -huh. So that is our answer. 28 plus 17 is equivalent to 45. All right, that was the last time. In case you did not get everything there, please feel free to visit, to revisit that video and follow the procedure. I told you mathematics is all about practice. Keep practicing, keep finding so many numbers, work them out, you'll be super. So. There are so many ways we can add. We said adding is simply putting things together. We've been adding, putting the big number in the head and a small number on the fingers, uh, joining whatever is around, putting it together. We can as well add using a number line. Did you know that? Yes, I know some of you know that. We looked at this in P1. We can add using a number line. A number line is simply a, number, a, a line having numbers. It's all about steps. For instance, you had three steps. You have three steps, and they ask you to add more two steps. So from the three steps, you keep adding more two steps. Where you stop is the answer. Number line is the simplest I have ever seen. So we are adding. Adding, using a number line.
adding using a number line. I said number line is we're just dealing with steps. Okay? So if it's addition, is a continuation. You had two steps. One, two. Then they ask you to add more two. When you're adding more two steps, that means where I stopped in the first instance, you'll just keep on. Okay? That is um, addition for you. Um, my first number is four plus two. Four plus two. Here they don't want you to use balls. They have specified what you want, they want you to use. Use a number line, a line having numbers. Tell yourself that this is four steps. Put that word steps in your mind. Four steps plus two steps. You'll see. We said a number line is simply a line having numbers. So this is my line. My line is having numbers and um, I'm making my numbers from zero, from zero. Make sure you give some space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Use a ruler, eight, nine, and 10. This is my number line. A line having numbers and they ask me to move move four steps after moving four steps then move more two isn't that simple let's try to move we are moving this is the first step and make sure every step has to make you land on a number do not land in space you're supposed to land on a number so from here i am moving four steps let's move i've told you each step is supposed to make you land on a number so we are moving this is the first step second third and fourth where has my where has my fourth step stopped it has stopped at four are we there Okay, so from here, we are going to continue moving. But how many steps are we supposed to move? We're supposed to move more two. So from here, I am moving one, two. Isn't that simple? This is so simple. Let's try and do it. This is the first step, one. This is the second. This is the third, fourth. Ooh, they said four steps. They said four steps. So I, st I, I will stop here. How many steps are these? One, two, three, four. These are four steps. And then they said, we add more. This addition means keep walking. Keep walking. We are, we are going to keep walking. Two more steps. This is the first one. And this is the second one. Where you stop is the answer. Would you like to prove that? You can use the other ways of adding. You will be able to get six as your answer. Yes, these steps. And your answer was six. I love that. This is a very nice way of doing your number line. But I'm giving you the best. This is another way of doing our number line. And moreover, the best, the best. Remember, we are from Kampala Quality. We are doing quality things. So, this is the quality one. We said a number having, an, a line having numbers. This is one. Careful, uh, space your, your numbers very well. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this is ten. Ah, this is the number line. He said, remember, we said this one, we have moved steps. Okay? But you're now getting the best way of find, uh, doing a number line. We said, we are moving four steps. Let's count them. One, one, two, three, four. Where has my fourth step land? It has landed on four. I will put this. So where was I going? I was 
coming from zero, was coming from zero, going this side. See how I've put the arrow? It shows that I'm going this way. And how many steps have I moved? I have moved four steps. Are we there? I have moved four steps. And then they said, we add on. Add on means move more. Move more two steps from where you've been. I've been at four. So I'm supposed to move more two. So from here, I am moving more two. Let's move them. One, two. And this is where I've learned. I've landed on, on six. So, from four to six, I have moved extra two. They have asked me to move more two. That's why I'm putting a plus here. This plus simply means I have continued to move, okay? I have continued to move. And where have I landed? I have landed on six. Just circle that answer. After circling it, you said, so four plus two, four plus two, that means when you add two to four, you'll, you'll get, you'll get this you'll get a six. So from here, from the zero up to six is four plus two. Once you do this and you perfect this, they'll be like, oh, it's the best mathematician I've ever seen. So if I were you, I would actually do this. This is much more better. This is much more better. It shows how good you are in mathematics. Let's do one more example. Yes. Oh, we had forgotten one thing. After getting this, remember they gave you this. Don't leave it there. The number you circled is supposed to be transferred here. So four, four steps plus two steps is equal to six steps. Don't think about forgetting it. We said we are doing another example is five plus zero. We said, let's try to use the word steps. Five steps plus zero steps, okay? Move five steps. After five steps, move extra zero. Do you remember what zero means? Eh? Eh, eh. Zero means? Tell your neighbor, what does zero mean? Eh, I remember saying zero means nothing. So this is my number line. Aha, uh -huh. so from zero, I'm moving one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not a must that you should end at, at ten. No, no, no. Make yourself feel comfortable. If you end at ten, it's okay. What I'm, I'm looking at is spacing your work very well. So we said five steps. We are doing number line, that's why I'm saying steps, okay? Five steps plus zero steps. So from, and when we are doing the number line, we are starting from the zero, okay? So this is zero, we are moving five steps. Let's move. One, every step is supposed to land on a number. One, two, three, four, and five. Yes, so, from here, the five steps, oh, one, two, three, four, five, they're supposed to stand here. So the five steps are putting us there. So from the zero, here we are. And what is this you've, we've done? We've moved five steps. And then they said, add, keep moving, keep moving. But how many steps are you going to move? You're going to move zero steps. What does zero mean? They said, it means nothing. Am I going to move anywhere? No, they said nothing. So what is your answer? My answer is right here. You come down here 
And you say... Five plus nothing is equal to this. Do you think you can do many, many more numbers? Huh? All right. I believe you can. I believe you can. What you have to do is put in mind that when you're talking about number line, they're talking about steps. If it's a plus, just now keep moving. Okay? Keep moving. Then you'll be able to go. So five plus zero is what we got here. What, which number did we circle? We got a five. So that's our answer. I know you can do as much as you can. I told you mathematics is all about practice. Keep practicing. Tell you, you can get as many numbers as you can. You'll be able to practice and you can do this anytime you want. I'm going to leave you with some few numbers. If I give you three, it's okay. You can make many and you'll be able to work them out. I thank you so much. Be helpful at home. Keep yourself safe. I love you so much. We keep in touch.